Hello my gorgeous loves out there and welcome. In today's video, I'm gonna be trying out some new brands for the first time and I'm gonna use these products and create a couple looks. I have the Glisten Cosmetics Limited Edition the Split Liner Palette. This is a collab with Fairy Free. And I also picked up the Serenity Palette from Cosmic Brushes. But before we get into this video, if you're new here, hello, welcome. My name is Brie and I am just a crazy lover of all things beauty and I like to post a lot of fun, colorful makeup content. I like to do a lot on indie makeup. So if that's what you're into, then please hit that subscribe button and join this little family. But with that being said, let's get into this video. <music> going to try some new products now I've tried about face before but these are new blushes and I'm excited about these I think these are $18 each and they're available on their website I'm not sure if it's gonna come to Ulta hopefully it does because that would be awesome but I picked up the two unique shades this purple one which is called score look at that color these are cream blushes they're supposed to i think dry down to like a matte finish and then the other one is called smash which is a beautiful red and i love that they're kind of raised i love the packaging i love that like the actual blush color is the blush packaging so you always know what color you're grabbing and then i'm so excited to get into this glisten cosmetics split liner palette that was the collab with fairy freak and i've been really getting into the whole liner thing i mean it's just so trendy right now but this is the outer packaging and this is what it looks like inside it has like split pans here and you have all these different colors to choose from you just like you know wet your brush and go in there and this looks like it's sold out but the palette went for 36 dollars and if you wanted the little combo where you could get the two liner brushes it was 42 and then the palette which so many people have hyped this up i've seen so many positive reviews about this so this is what the outer packaging looks like and this goes for 20 euros which I don't know exactly what that converts to and it is available on their website and here's the color story big mirror just beautiful beautiful color story and I'm just so excited to get into this this is sold out so many times and finally like the or maybe third wrist stock I finally picked it up because I was like I, I just need to know it's so beautiful it's my kind of color story so I'm going to create two looks with these products probably use one of these blushes and look and then this blush and another look and use the cake liner palette in both looks and then do two looks with the shadows in here i think this is gonna be really fun so i'm gonna get a little bit closer and see what i can come up with with these products so we're gonna use the purple blush so let's get in there i'm gonna use this dense brush that's how i like to use these kind of cream blushes let me feel the texture Ooh, it feels very very creamy let's Stab a little on my hand just in case because I don't want to overdo it on the first go because I tend to do that, but I want to see how it will go on with a brush. Ooh, okay, let us, let's pick up a little bit more. I think they said it is more of like a buildable formula. Ooh, 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 this is such a pretty like purpley shade. Oh, wow. And it's going on the cheeks so easy. And it seems like a very, very buildable formula and a very blendable formula. <laughs> These are just so creamy and such a beautiful color. Got a nice wash of color and it is drying down, which I prefer. I hate tacky cream blushes. So I'm gonna do some bronzer, powder my face quickly because I haven't done that part yet. And I'll be back and we can get into the eye look. So now it's time to prime the lids. I'm gonna use the Juvia's Place Eye Prep Eye Prime Eye Primer in shade one. It's very light, and since there's some pastels in this palette that I wanna use, I want it to use like a really light base. So I'm just gonna put those all over my lid. Like, do you see how light that is? Such a light shade, it's perfect for pastels. So now let's get into these palettes. So I think I'm gonna start off with the Cake Liner palette because I have an idea for a look in my head. I'm just gonna wet the pan really quickly. I have like this spray bottle that just has plain water in it. I'm gonna go into the shade Glitch. I'm gonna use the blue side because we're gonna do a cool tone look and I'm gonna get into the brushes that they uh, had in like that bundle. I'm so excited for this. I hope I don't totally mess this up. But this is what the brush tip looks like, the product on it. And we're gonna go, we're gonna go right in 
pray for me. So I saw this look where they go like this, right here. Oh, this is so smooth. And then they go like that. Ooh, that was so easy to put on. A little too easy. I thought it was just so hard to do, but maybe I just didn't have the right like liners and the right brushes. And I'm just gonna connect it down there. Wow, this is so creamy. And this brush is such a fine tip and like so precise. And then I'm gonna take the same little thing and I'm gonna create little dots in the front. Here, let's see, let's see. Okay, so there's the liner look, right? We're, we're gonna, I'm gonna perfect it off camera. Well, we'll figure out the rest later, but I think that's pretty good. And the liner was really easy to put on. So now let's get into the Serenity palette. And I definitely want to use the blue in here. I want to use this scrumptious shade right here. So I'm going to get a flat brush. I'm going to use the Refer 28 brush. I'm going to clean it off, make sure it's clean. And I'm going to start off with the shade called Mood. And I'm going to fill that out in the outer corner part. Um, just like right here. Oh, I'm covering my face. And just fill that in that empty space oh a little crazy oh gosh i think it looks so cool i'm doing pretty good better than i expected i was gonna do and then look at that look at the pigmentation on that shade Woo, this is so pretty so now i'm gonna take the same flat shader brush and i'm going to clean it off and i'm gonna go into the shade called pixie and i'm gonna use that in the center here and I'm gonna just put that in the middle and I'm just filling out the space and concentrating it just in the center oh my god this is also super pigmented and I'm having hardly any fallout from these shades and I'm not even really dusting off the excess and look at that beautiful pigmentation wow I'm gonna go into make a wish this beautiful pastel I'm gonna use the other side of the brush and I'm gonna pack that on all in the inner portion. Whoa, okay. Pigmentation coming through on this pastel, like what? And it was so easy to just get opacity like that quick. Wow, okay, okay. I see you, I see you cosmic brushes. So now I want to use just a little bit of shimmer, like right where like the light lavender shade meets up with the purple. I'm going to dab a little bit of the glitter primer from NYX. And I'm just going to dab like right where they need it because I just want a little bit of shimmer. But I want to take the shade called Ether. And I'm going to pick it up on my finger. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Look at that. Okay, and then I'm gonna just stick it right here. Oh, wow. Now I wanna put something in the inner corner. I'm gonna take the shade called Opal, and this one looks like it has a green shift. <gasps> wow, and these are just so smooth, but I'm gonna pick it up on this brush, and I'm just gonna pop that right there. Just a little, a little, a little pop action. Oh my God, that's beautiful. Just bringing in a little bit of green to this look. And that's it, guys. That's it for this look. I feel cool. I feel like I'm one of the cool kids with this. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna like fix a little bit of the liner and figure out something for my waterline, mascara, maybe lashes, and something for my lips. And then I will be right back to show you guys the finished look. All right, my loves, I am back. Here's the finished look. So you guys can see up close. I am so impressed with how this turned out. Like I love it so much. But what I did off camera was I went in with the Udin's Eye Highlighter and Lavender Dream. I just felt like this was so appropriate for this look. 
it's lavender highlighter it's so pretty and then for my lashes i went in with the beauty for real high def mascara which this is my first time trying it and i'm so impressed with how my lashes turned out that i didn't end up putting on falsies so they look so dramatic and long and have volume and it has curl and the wand is kind of interesting on this so like really small but it grips your lashes and like really puts the product on there so I think this might be one of the best mascaras I've ever tried. And then I went in with the Nabla Cupid's Arrow Color Stylo in number six. It's a navy shade and I just smudged that on the lower lash line. And then for my lips, I'm wearing the Kaleidos Cloud Lab Lip Clay in Mercury Wave. It is a very gray purple. I've committed to the purple blue vibes, if you can tell. And that is everything that I did off camera to complete this look you guys one more time i'm so happy with this but i think i'm now ready to get into the next look okay time for another look let's go into now the red blush called smash i did not set my face so we'll see how this does i'm gonna go in with this dense brush that i usually use for foundation and i'll put it right there Ooh, yes I love a ready blush. I think this looks beautiful. It's so easy to blend into the skin. Good pigmentation. And oh God, it's just so creamy too. Like to the touch, just melts on your fingertip when you like go into the compact. I'm gonna finish off the rest of my face. I put some bronzer and powder on and then we can get into the eye look. All right, I'm back. I did go in with the Michaela Pot 2 highlighter palette, by the way. I'm wearing the shade called Blinden, which has like a green shift because I want to do a green look. It looks really pretty on the cheeks. It is on the sparkly, shimmery side, just to note. But I did prime my eyes again with the Juvia's Place Eye Prep Eye Primer in shade 1. And I'm going to actually put these little elf stickies to help the shape. I probably should have did my eye look before my face makeup, but... I like to do things the hard way, apparently. I'm gonna take this big pencil brush and I'm gonna go into the shade called River, which is a deep teal. And I'm going to, I guess, follow the natural arch of my eyes and then like bring it out here. Because I really do wanna do like a, a really intense cut crease. And this is gonna help me get the shape right but I'm just shaping the arch so now I want to take the same brush but I want to pick up the shade called sorbet and I'm going to use that on the edge of that deep teal just to soften things get a gradient and a blend and bring some grungy warmth to the look so I'm just slowly working it on the edge of that deep teal Okay, I think this is a good place where we're at. And I'm gonna take some concealer and I'm gonna just cut the whole crease with my Tarte Ultra Creamy Concealer that I am trying to use up. So I'll take this Fera one. And actually, I think I need more concealer. I don't normally do cut creases or half cut creases at all. But you know what? I'm trying to get out of my comfort zone and do different things from what I'm used to doing. Now I'm gonna go into the shade called Lagoon, right here. And I'm gonna use that on the outer corner over here. And just pack that on where the outer wing goes. I think maybe I wanna go over that with Mystical, just a little bit. I think I just want it to be more smoky on the outer part. So now let's get into the shimmers. I think that looks okay. I'm going to take Wonder, this olive metallic. I'm not going to uh, put any glitter primer down. I'm just going to see if it picks up on the brush. So it seems really smooth. It's not picking up that much, but I am going to wet it and... We'll see how that does. If not, I can always go in with my finger, but I'm gonna put that here, and lay it over the edge of that green that I just put on the outer corner. It's not picking up that well on a brush, so let me try my finger. 
And then I can just use a brush for the edges. And then I want to take the shade called Serenity, which is this blue right here, shade right here. And I'm going to use that in the inner portion. I'm going to see if it picks, this one picks up on a brush. Yeah, they're doing okay picking up, but I feel like these do better with your finger. Just, just the nature of the formula. All right, so there it is. I took the tape off. There's the shape. I think it's pretty good. So I wanted to take some of Oasis. I feel like I want to use this as my inner corner highlight. Like, have a bright neon-y pop of orange in the inner portion. Will that work? I feel like it will be bright enough. I'm going to do the other side. And I will probably just use the deep teal that's like in the archway on the lower lash line just to match it up i'm just filling this whole space with the orange so now let's get into the glisten cosmetics liner palette and i want to mix some shades together to make an orange so i think i'm going to mix these two right here to make an orange shade and i'm going to follow the arch and put that line there so let's try this I don't have the most steady hands. I think the line is good, right? I think it's pretty good. I feel like I messed up a little bit on the edge and I'm surprised I got these to be both the same color because you know I had to make my own concoction. That's it for the eye look. So I'm going to finish off camera, do my lashes, mascara, you know, all that good stuff. And then I will be right back to show you guys the completed look. All right guys, I am back and here's the look. I think it's fabulous, but I did add another shadow off camera. I went in to the shade Opal and I added some of that in the inner portion here because I wanted some more brightness, a little bit more contrast and it definitely amped up that brightness in the like inner portion. If you can tell, it's like a lot lighter now. In the front, I think it looks really pretty. I love how the shape turned out. Those little tapies help. Or you can even use scotch tape to do something like that. And I'm very happy with like the liner and everything. But what I did off camera was I went in with the Beauty For Real mascara. This is so good. And I saw that they actually sell this at Walmart. I think this might be my new fave. I might have to get another one. But do you guys see? I feel like I don't even need uh, falsies because I feel like it really like makes my lashes look super dramatic. And then I also went into the Juvia's Place lipstick in Libra. It's like a peachy nude. I love these lipsticks and I also use the Juvia's Place liner and it's so rare. And then for my waterline, I went in with the LA Girl liner in, is it Ocean? Which shade is this? Yes, Ocean. It matches the teal shade that's at the bottom here. And that's all I did off camera. Show you guys one more time how it came out. I love like the orange neon shade too in the inner portion. I just think it's really fun. Everything came together and I'm very happy with how this look came out. So I am ready to zoom out a bit and give you guys my like final first impressions on all of these products. I'm just gonna get it out there. I love everything that I tried in this video that was new to me. Everything performed so good. These were all hits. Like this palette right here is definitely worth the hype. It's beautiful. The mattes are blendable and really pigmented, especially these neon and like pastel shades. They just have such a pop and great opacity and I was able to layer them up. I was able to just get everything to blend so nicely and the shimmers are also really pretty, especially this opal shade that has like that greeny shift. Like look at that, oh, could be a highlighter too on the cheeks. And this ether one too, it has like blue to it. It's so pretty, the mattes, the greens, the colors, everything. Oh my gosh, it is just so good. So, so worth the hype. Now I get why there was just so many positive reviews on this palette. The color story, the formula, the price. I mean, it's a super affordable palette, 20 euros, which I don't know, was that $25? I don't even know how to convert, okay? But it's quite affordable for what you're getting. This is like high end quality in here. I'm telling you guys, this is beautiful. I get why I keep selling out. People love it for a reason. It is definitely worth the hype. 
and it makes me want to explore the brand more because it was just so good. The blushes from About Face, they're also worth the hype. Like a lot of people were like so excited for this product and they're really good. They're super creamy and emollient. They remind me a lot of like the Milani cream blushes. They're just super creamy. Like they kind of melt as soon as you touch your fingers on it. And they were buildable, blendable. They did not lift up my foundation in any way because one of the looks I accidentally powdered my cheeks I think it was when I used this one and it didn't lift up my foundation I didn't have any issues and they're just such pretty colors like I think the shades that about face has in this range is really unique it's different it's good it dries down to a full powder finish and the other day when I wore this it lasted really well on my face it didn't like fade it just stayed there all day and it's just a really good formula as for the glisten cosmetics liner palette with the fairy freak this is so good the cake liners are so easy to use and I'm a person who struggles with liner and doing like shapes. And this was so creamy and just easy to have like glide on the eyes and stuff. And the brushes that I got in that bundle, so good. They have really fine points and they're on the stiffer side. So you can really like make detailed shapes with this. And I love that I was able to also customize the shade I wanted. So I easily just took this yellow and this red mix it together and I was able to make an orange and I feel like you can do that with all the other shades in here and just kind of customize it however you want. I like the colors in here and I do feel like there's a lot of reds. Like there's this red, this red, and this red right here. I feel like they're slightly different tones. I do wish maybe there was some other colors besides like the three reds, but still I'm very happy with this. I think it's such a beautiful formula. You just have to put some water in, get it in there and it gets nice and creamy. It's easy to glide on and I'm very happy with this. I think this is so on trend. People are so into like the liner looks and doing like details on the eyes and I feel you can really do that with this palette as well as with their liner brushes. The number five and the number 10 one's just longer. So good. But that was my thoughts on all of the products that I tried in this video. I really liked how everything turned out but you will have to let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Have you tried any of these products or have you picked them up? Or are you like testing them out? I mean, I would love to hear your guys' thoughts. Also, if you're new here and you enjoy this video and you like a lot of fun and colorful makeup content and a lot of stuff in indie makeup, then please hit that subscribe button and join this little family. I'd love to have you here. Also, don't forget to check out the description below. I will link all the products where you can find them in case you're curious. I will link the rest of my makeup I'm wearing on my face with my foundation and everything and other videos of mine you might be interested in and I will also have my contact and social media platforms. I'm also on Instagram as Breezy Lifestyle and Breezy underscore beauty. So check me out over there. I do a lot of different content and I will probably do like a third look with this palette there. But guys, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video, for being here, supporting my channel. I really, really appreciate it. And I just hope you're doing well wherever you are in the world. And I'm just sending you all so much light and love. But until next time, bye guys.